Good day, everybody. Today we are going to talk about central limit theorem for proportions. So I will share my computer screen with you. Central limit theorem for proportions. Let P hat be the sample proportion for a sample size of N and a population proportion P. If N times P, where N is the sample size, N times P is greater or equal to 10. That means N times the population proportion is at least 10. And N times 1 minus P is also at least 10, greater or equal to 10. Then, then the distribution of P hat or sample proportion is approximately normal with mean mu P hat equal to P, which is the population proportion and standard deviation of the sampling distribution sigma P hat is equal to square root of P population proportion times one minus P divided by N sample size. So let's work out on a sample problem utilizing the central uh, limit theorem for proportions. A new process has been designed to make ceramic tiles. The goal is to have no more than 5% of the tiles be non-conforming due to surface defects. A random sample of 1,000 tiles is inspected. Let P hat be the proportion of non-conforming tiles in the sample. If A, if 5% of the tiles produced are non-conforming, what is the probability of the sample proportion greater equal to 0 0.075? Part B, based on the answer to part A, if 5% of the tiles are non-conforming, is a proportion of 0 0.075 non-conforming tiles in a sample of 1,000 unusually large. So here P, population proportion is 0 0.05 of defects, N is 1,000 sample size, N times P is 1,000 times 0 0.05 is 50, which is greater than 10. Similarly, n times 1 minus p is 1,000 multiplied by 1 minus 0.05, or 1,000 multiplied by 0 0.95 is 950. That is also greater than 10. Thus, the distribution of p hat is approximately normal by central limit theorem for proportions, with mu p hat equal to p equal to 0 0.05 and sigma p hat, which is the standard deviation of the sampling proportion, sometimes also called standard error, is square root of p times one minus p divided by n, or inside the square root 0 0.05 multiplied by one minus 0 0.05 divided by 1000 is 0 0.00689. We can do this in the calculator in one shot if we do Press the second button and then x square. This will invoke the square root. Inside the square root, we will multiply 0 0.05 times in parenthesis, 1 minus 0 0.05, close the right parenthesis, and then divide by 1,000 and hit enter. We'll get the same result, 0 0.00689, which is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, also called standard error. So. What is the probability of P hat greater than 0 0.075? Remember our mu P hat is equal to P equal to 0 0.05 and sigma P hat is 0 0.00689. So we will press second button and then verse and then select number two, which is normal CDF. Our lower boundary is 0 0.075. Upper boundary is a very large number on the right of 0 0.075 which is, we'll first press number one, then second and comma, will give you the small capital E, which means exponent, and then we'll press nine, nine, which means 10 to the power of 99, a very large number on the right side. And then our mean is 0 0.05, our standard deviation is 0 0.00689. This probability is 0 0.0001. Since the probability of P hat greater or equal to 0 0.075, 
is equal to 0 0.0001 is so small. Therefore, a proportion of 0 0.075 non-conforming tiles in a sample of 1,000 tiles is unusual. It should be unusually small, cannot be unusually large, right? Because the probability of P hat greater than 0 0.075 is so small is less than is great, less than 0 0.05 it's less than 5% so the pro, uh, the event that the sample proportion greater or equal to 0 0.075 is unusual okay unusual it should be unusually small not unusually large okay i will stop here today if you have any question please write me a comment i'll get back to you as soon as possible and please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another problem, another solution. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you next time.